Hello everyone, I'm Drumat and today we're going to do a Pantheon guide, a mid guide but it can be applied to top as well and we're going to be in flex but again this won't matter that much because these two people are Grandmaster in solo queue at least so my opponent isn't even low elo, I wanted to queue in flex because I'm somewhere around diamond matchmaking rating and it's a bit easier to focus on the video but apparently not because <laughs> I'm still going to be against a high elo person so I could have done solo queue as well but this kind of other videos I'm going to do like other champions and Tulia I'm going to try to do in flex the other guides and so today we're going to play Pantheon mid but you can also play him top with Ignite but don't play it against something like this because he's going to absolutely demolish you. Uh, champions like Ilaoi and Yorick are also impossible to fight so think that. Uh, why would you play Pantheon mid and not top? It's because generally when you're not against Aurelia but when you're against a mage or an assassin, Strazed or Katarina you actually have a pretty nice time and a pretty easy lane because Pantheon doesn't really have counters on mid lane. Now we really can be considered a counter if she plays well, but that will matter depending a lot on how, how we both play and how the jungler interferes. Obviously we're at level 3 and play with uh, some runes that I'm going to present. I play with Conqueror, Triumph, Legend, Alacrity, Last Stand, Futures Market, Time Warp, Tonic and these runes that some people play with Press the Attack and Blade of the Ruined King after Eclipse, some people play with Biscuits. I play with Eclipse into Plated Steel Caps into Blade of the Ruined King every single game and sometimes it's good against champions that heal a lot to go for Executioner, other times it's good to go for something like Serpent's Fang. It's also good to play with something like the Attack Speed Rune, Ooh. and she already won the trade. <laughs> Fascinating. She plays with a uh, Doran's Blade, so she can practically nullify me anyway. And I have to use my potions here, but it's going to be okay. Uh, she will practically lose stacks now, so I will have to level up. And I'll have to back off. She used the potion, so I'll have to... Well, it really is one of the most difficult matchups that you can have. Irela is one of the hardest matchups strictly because how strong Irela is in terms of a champion. Pantone is a strong champion early, but if you do not know your mechanics, you're going to struggle a lot. As you can see, I always try when I fight these melee matchups into the mid lane, I always try to actually position myself close to my tower so that I can flash out if I feel like I missed cannon there. I am aware of that, I am missing it mostly because I'm focusing on this kind of videos. Uh, if you play here with the attack speed drone, instead of a damage rune, you can easily take those cannons. And now you'll see, I generally play with the uh, with the features market rune so that I can do this recall, this shit recalls, cheat, not shit, in which you can go for items that are away from your price range. I could have gone for Serrated Dirk as well, and practically when you have like 960 gold, you can go for Serrated Dirk because it allows you to have 160 more gold, somewhere like 940 actually, because that's how the math works. Practically when you play Pantheon mid, you can play with Press the Attack, you can play without it, you can play with Conk. Conqueror is good into this kind of duels. Now I'm gonna position myself here and I'm gonna try to do a full combo here and I know there is a Nocturne somewhere and I'd like her to actually do some damage but yeah never mind this is my bad because Diana doesn't have any damage early on at least until level 6 this is completely my bad uh, yeah she took too many tower shots I that's the question there, because this will just create a gank. It doesn't matter. If she's not level 6, Diana, fight, Diana ganks are useless. Okay, so, so, if you're there to gank, why why not start a fight? I'm not, I'm not following the logic, but whatever. Uh, the point is that whenever you lose a 2 versus 2 like this, it can severely alter your gameplay and your gank. It doesn't matter. She, has. she can just deny everyone's damage like she just did and we just wanna lose. And it doesn't matter. You cannot gank unless you're 6. Why do I have to explain that? Well, uh, it doesn't matter, Nocturne got the kill and not the Irelia. Now, she can probably beat me and I can actually be ganked here. Okay, okay 
we see the guy, we see the Alistar there. Um, hello. Well, that was something. <laughs> that was definitely something. They are coming. Also seeing the Nocturne here, Alistar is sticking around mid. Please do something over Dragon Recall. I cannot, I cannot do much because, okay, I'm not allowed to die here. She go, she went for a refillable and actually that brought her enough attention there. Now she's going to have the lane kingdom now because I have to uh, focus properly onto this, and she is going to probably chase. No, apparently not. Whatever, losing some CS doesn't matter, I have to be careful to the Alistar as well. Lost some CS there, and I think Orn just teleported back and died again. Now, she's level 6, it really is practically unkillable at this point, and so we will not do a fight. If this guy wants to gang mid, I will just back off and ping him not to, because you cannot do much here against this. Now, if Alistar wants to jump on me, uh, I will be positioned properly just so that I'm pushed a bit out of the way and full E. They can still probably kill me, but when you're level 6 generally you want to keep your ult either for bot rooms, that's one thing, and you can also uh, keep it like a teleport, like a teleporting thing to go back to your lane. Now I don't see where Alistar is, which means I cannot keep going here. Go, fight, 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 fight. Okay. And that's how it goes. Wait for a good roll, then back off mid, because I have still two stacks of Corrupting Potion. I need to get my wave back, and probably Irelia will want some plates. So I'm just gonna cast this and move towards mid. Uh, she got a free plate, I got... It lost the cannon. No! I got two kills. I'm gonna cast this thing like this that she's missing. And I'm gonna do a full kill. I tried to get this, not gonna get this. Probably really stop if I were to guess. And I'll recall right here. It's a good spot. If she if she does a good kill. Uh, never mind. There is a mosquito that's annoying me. And I cannot really do much to that. I cannot counter play that. Uh, generally, when you recall, you'd want a vision word or two. You'd want to be careful. You want to uh, you want to get these vision words and go for straight for the eclipse. Now, once I have Blade of the Night King, I can beat Irelia, but depends on the context. Because if you engage first, you can beat her. If she engages first, it's with full stacks, then she will beat you. Irelia is again one of the most tricky matchups in mid. Most AP. Um, mages are okay to deal with, uh, most assassins are okay to deal with, some fighty matchups such as rumble, such as this one can be difficult, but no one obliges you to take bad trades or do the 2 versus 2 like I just did. Now if I had the Nocturne we would have probably won that 2 versus 2 there, uh, but it's my mistake that I decided to take that fight. So it, it depends on what you do, what you want really. Attack. Being that she's missing. Okay, auto attack, auto attack, auto attack. And maybe get this too. She's there. I think she's seen you somewhere. She's gonna come for this CS. <laughs> no! I'm alive. <laughs> that was so stupid. I should have died there. And that's how strong Irela is actually. Jump on her. Jump on him. Jump on him. Uh, that was how strong Irela is in this context of the matchup. But you know Irela. Not one of the strongest champions in the game in for 1 vs 1, but she struggles heavily in team fights. But I did not misplay that, so it was fine. Probably there is a Nocturne alt here. Now I have Eclipse. I can say I did not misplay that, even though I kinda did. This is amazing. One kill on Draven. 
two kills on Draven and we already win hard this game. Uh, again, you're not going to see in lower elos insane Irelia plays, so this is probably an off scenario, but against most mids, Pantheon is a great pick, but you need to know that you don't really scale that well unless you play good, and you're not allowed to have a bounty and then just into it. You're not allowed to randomly die with the bounty that you have, like I do now, it's a small bounty. But for example, you're gonna get to like 10 kills, you're not allowed to die with those 10 kills. Okay, they didn't. Yeah, for example, I just frog here, this, and I kinda hate how strong the champion is. I missed the Q there, it didn't matter because she'd still beat me. But as you can see, I'm staying towards the tower, she has no ignite. I'm staying like this so that I can actually fight her when necessary and do the proper things. They are diving him on bot, you can also follow this kind of guys. There might be an Orn ult. I don't mind the Orn. See? That's why I don't mind door. Because I knew I could just E. You can bait people with the E a lot. The Trindamer can also be one difficult matchup if the Trindamer is insanely good. Uh, but that's just again higher elo material. In lower elos I don't expect any Trindamer to actually be good. Uh, depends on how smurfy he is. I have to recall here even though I lose a plate. That's one other thing that you have to take in consideration and I want here to go for something like Executioner because that will stop the Irelia from self-healing that much and another build that I want to talk about is the Core Drinker into something like Sterax or Anathema's build which is quite insane uh, I'm not sure if it's still that strong or tanky but generally it was in the past a good build you're about to die here and I'm sure Irelia can actually beat them if it's a good it's a good Irelia, no, I'll that. So practically, the build that I go for generally is Eclipse into Boots, into Blade of the Red King, something like that. And against mages, like this guy for example, well, if you are on mid against this guy, pre-level pre 3 you want to not be poked that much, but after that you'd want just to engage whenever you can. Now against something like Syndra, it's rather difficult to discuss. As you can see, she can just poke you down, and I'm not sure why they fought. And I'll just recall, I could also jump on her, but it's simpler to recall. She can poke you out if she is decently fed, and they fought the Irelia man, that's crazy. Now, she will stay here most likely, so I can just ult here. If you hit the ult, most mages are dead, like this. flash and that's fine practically we win top now as well she used flash there and so we hit we hit that we didn't have flash we hit the actual spell if you do not hit the uh, spear the small part you're not going to win the fight uh, because you're not going to slow the target in this case uh, now we have also the report from her I'm just gonna back off throw a Q miss it but doesn't matter. Now when fighting mages such as Syndra or Akhri you have to actually be a bit more resourceful for example for example if she hits you like this you just have to back off and <laughs> fully heal because she breaks your ankles you don't have magic resist runes but you can go merc treads and that will deny the CC potential and there are some matchups that deny you like Vegar, like Syndra like uh, maybe Lissandra, but most mages are actually doable. Most mages are actually doable. Now he plays mid. This is an easy gank right now, for example. I have flash and I have W. If anyone wants to gank, I can just flash in. For example, I can just flash W and she's going to die like most of the time. I see the Draven. I cannot ult bot. I see also the guy. Okay, she has nothing. Okay, so we got that. I will have to go bot now. Take this CS real quick. 
I could, we could actually take this. Take this, stop banging me. Do not listen to lower elo people. I'm not sure why. Don't. You'd still die here, and I just died with you because I was focusing on this part. And that's fine. But you're not going to kill anyone here. It's just stupid. It's just stupid to fight the Irelia. Very stupid to actually fight the Irelia there. And now we can go for actual Vampiric Scepter. If I don't go mid, Irelia will just dive the Draven. Like that's a given. That's a given. If I go here, she's just going to dive the Draven. 100%. She can actually kill the Draven if she jumps. Holy moly, man. Christ, man. Let me stop fighting here. It's just so pointless. If I hit here, the spear. Now, if I did this on a word, yeah, then she probably seen me. I'm gonna get stunned. Yep. When you ult, you have to make sure that you're not on a word like this. And so you can also go around like this try to jump on her but she will just do that and deal an insane amount of damage am i getting ulted no it's the dragon on mid or the top on top so i don't know why he wants the solo lane because you cannot do anything to that but then again this is flex and some people are lower reload than others so we just have to deal with what we have now definitely there is a syndra there and we need to uh, Get this! Get this! Now back off. Now back off. How did she got caught there, man? Christ. Actually return. Nope, I inted. Should have cost the first. This pisses me off because our Draven plays so much against us. Yeah, and the Leona as well. I agree with that. Oh, that was worth. He can actually kill the Alistar as well. But what am I watching, man? He has no mana. Jesus. This guy's damage is insane. Alright, on that fight, if I did E faster, I could have done something, but this way Irela is now very far ahead of me with one level. We have a jungler that's quite ahead, but the fights aren't going to matter because the Syndra is insanely more useful than our bloody Draven, our bot. Our Leona is just dying left and right. It's funny, our Leona is the high elo player in our team. I'm not sure how we got to this point really. Now again, if I am the first person to engage, stop pinging each other, it's probably the Draven Flame. Jesus. I'm the same level as Irelia though, that's fine. I could probably go for Anathemas to deny with Irelia, but their Syndra is so much more useful than our bot lane entirely. So that's fairly sad, just go, coming and far away, but I hope I ult in for a reason. Alright. Alright. So that was a one win for us, strictly because he realized a way. I have no idea where he really is. If I were to guess he's just gonna assassinate the Draven because he's in thing. If I were to guess. I don't think she disconnected. I think she just went bot, and I was the first to be there, honestly. I'm just gonna plan that. Ah, yeah, she was bot, she came from this side. So she has no teleport, and that's a cost on her side. Please attack. And let's see how to attack that. I don't know, the Herald is drunk. Just let the Herald pop. That's all we want, really. 
and they cannot really reach us can they let's let's go here okay this is fine this is a good fight can i not that never mind the time is invincible so that's why we are winning we catch the syndra and that meant they have absolutely no chance there okay so we might break the tower even so we start winning this fight strictly because we engage before they do in better context now draven might be dead or not now draven is overfed because syndra got caught in this fight here that's all he really wasn't there even though she's fairly ahead it didn't matter i would advise against taking this when you take this inhibitor in lower elos no you're just going to give away free gold onto the cannon. If, she, if Syndra was smart, she would just let the wave actually hit the inhibitor. Now I like to call myself at full build at this point. And uh, when you're playing Pantheon, you're going to see that you're a bit more suicidal even than your teammates. Because you have to frontline a lot when you're playing Pantheon mid. And for example, if you're against, let's say, this Syndra, uh, you are having a harder time if you're not pressing in time. I also maxi second. That's another thing that most people might not do and that's because in fights you have time to cast it twice You don't need to jump onto people. You can see here the cooldown 30 seconds and 16. They are similar uh, And this this is what you want basically to try to cast this twice in a fight So basically engage reposition engage again. Now I'm going to stay here. I will adopt anyone will follow so I'm just gonna queue you can also freeze, but sometimes it's just pointless because in lower elos, for example, they're going to be constant fighting. And this is the point where stopwatch is a great pick, even though you might not do anything with it. And I try to be first to these fights compared to the others. So in this context, they are just going way too deep in a very bad corridor. So they have to back off. Dan will survive a lot. I'm gonna cast ult here without seeing, I have to, I have no idea what's here, okay, so this is fine, I didn't stop watching time, but we should win this, Tom is alive and Diana is alive there, Irelia died, and they didn't even kill the Draven, so I did my part of jumping on the Irelia properly, I didn't stop watching time or flash out, didn't even corrupt him, that doesn't matter that much though. Because I did my part, I got the full Syndra ult to my face. That's one thing, I got the Irelia into my full combo, I didn't deal that much damage, but I did get her. I could have probably survived that if I would have stopwatched, a better player would have stopwatched that. And we're gonna get this for free, and now I don't advise for going for Golden Angel, I advise for going for something like Styrax at the third item, or even something like completing the actual uh, Executioner into Sword and into what's the name chain sword right so uh we are doing great into passing kills to our our other teammates we have 13 kill participation similar to the Aurelia. but then again considering she's a grandmaster player we put our kills on our lower elo partners and uh i'm not even sure where he ulted okay they got the draven that's on top why is he there i don't get that i'm probably going bot and Draven is running it again, it's probably tilted. He probably wrote some random meaningless shit. Uh, Diana should get this, not Draven. Now, I'll go here and I will... Oh, okay, I will not find anyone. Uh, okay, I'll push this in, probably Syndra is on top getting the tower. I'm gonna get that. And they just use their abilities. I see Syndra on mid, I can just... Okay. This guy can actually beat me, but not really. Because I have the Blade of the Rain King. He has absolutely no chance to defeat me because he's behind. Normally a mid Nocturne would have chances and you'd have to perfectly use E onto his fear. If you don't use E onto his fear, you're not going to win the fight. Uh, practically you have to time it properly but three levels gap like it is now it's very hard for them to deal with and 
and she will win the fight. That's why I flashed here. And you win this because your W at full stocks procs Blade of Night King and actually helps you win it. I don't think Nocturne is on me. <laughs> and I actually removed both Nocturne and the guy. So this is a free win. I did my part of killing two people. And you can see how strong Pantheon is in this context. I can also ult here. I will also ult here. So I end the game with them. Right. I guess they also surrendered. So that went great. This is the tutorial, you've seen how I play some fights, you've seen how I do in these micro fights. Normally you wouldn't get to the point of fighting an early one versus one late, you just get to the point where you can one shot people late because that's what you gotta do as Pantheon. Practically flash W onto one, onto one person, instantly one shot them and then get away with it. So that's the tutorial generally, that's how you play Pantheon. Uh, practically you, f you flash W after ulting someone and one shot a person with ignite, then E flash out. You have to know that when you ult the CC will come onto your face. So QSS might work against things like Malzahar or Lissandra ult, so you have to factor that in as well. But that's how you generally play Pantheon, there are a lot more tips that I can give. If you like this tutorial please leave a subscribe, like or something. And see you next time, guys. I will also do a Talia guide from my uh, solo queue experience. We're going to see that as well. See you next time, guys, and have a wonderful day, week, or month ahead. See you next time. Goodbye.